So we got so we got college football making some waves in, in early February and does not have to do with the combine or pro days or NFL draft. Simply uh, the Big 12 letting uh, Texas and Oklahoma go to the SEC a year early. So they won't be um, so. So they'll they'll lead the big uh, they'll lead the Big Twelve not this 2023 2024 season but the next season. So looking at fall 2024, they will have the, the Oklahoma and Texas in the Big Ten. So um, they have to pay a hefty fee. Now they're paying up both both schools or are, are um, pay a hundred hundred million dollars to join the SEC a year older than they attended. Uh, now the Big Twelve wanted to push this so they can start a 12 man league. So on July 12th. They officially added BYU, Central Florida, Cincinnati, and Houston. I think this is great for the Big 12. And one thing I do like about Power 4, Power 5 conferences, uh, you know, however you want to think, you know, when, when I'm, you think it should be if there's four, top four or five conferences, however you would say it, however you say it or think about it, I like the rotation in in the in – the, uh, 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 of letting the small schools kind of big up, expanding the leads and letting some of the larger schools play in these conferences. What they're doing now is dividing out these conferences where SEC, like SEC West, SEC East, and allowing these allowing these teams to play uh, play against each other. So, um, and and so uh, on July, Big Twelve officially add BYU, Central Florida, Cincinnati, and Houston. It will compete as a fourteen team league for the upcoming season. So this is a hefty big a Big Twelve Big Twelve league. Um, you got 14 teams in there. I like Houston. Houston actually is, uh, has been coming up and, and making some waves. I think that they make some waves and help with recruiting. They can really, uh, uh, you know, put a stamp in uh, the Big 12. Uh, the Big 12. BYU is a big one as well, too. BYU, I believe, was in the Mountain West Conference. This is big-time ball for them. You know, typically they don't play teams that are strong, so that, that doesn't help their rankings. And Central Florida as well, too. Uh, this is good. I think they I forgot they were in the American Conference or Big East, you know, a couple couple while uh, a while ago. But Central Florida always recruits top talent, and I, with when you have that, t- especially in Florida, where all the talent's coming from, uh, Cincinnati as well too. You got another Midwest team that's starting to make waves and having some players like Riddler, uh, uh, Sauce Gardner, uh, Amad Gardner, Sauce Gardner, uh, get into the league. So I like the quick move of the league, and let me see. So, uh, so some now there is some schedule changes, right? A key part of the deal to let the, the two schools out early was a game flip of a non-conference matchup between Michigan and Texas. Sources told ESPN. So Texas will now visit visit Michigan in 2024. I believe Texas is going to beat the brakes off of Michigan. Uh, and Ann Arbor, Michigan will return the game in Austin in 2027, according to uh, sources. The game had been scheduled to play out the opposite way. The flip was a key driver in a, in a driver in Fox uh, agreeing to the deal. So if you watch you watch it some most of the time, um, uh, Texas Big Big Twelve and the and Big Ten uh, teams play play on um, Fox. So um, interesting. But ESPN holds the rights to the SEC starting in 2024, which is the same season USC and UCLA are heading to the Big Ten. So this is the shakeup. So you got the UCLA, USC and UCLA going to the Big Big Ten, and the college football is going to expand to 12 teams. So what, what we're going to see in college football over the next two years is going to be insane uh, because what we're about to see is about to see uh, uh, the Big 12 adding two Pac-12 powerhouses, right? Well, well leg, that, that legacy, uh, just a historic diet of powerhouses, UC, USC and UCLA. Now we're seeing um, – now we're seeing, uh, um, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Texas and Oklahoma go to the the SEC, and then now uh, Big Ten, the Big Twelve is adding four teams as well too. A lot leaves opportunities for some small teams to come up. Do I like it? No, I don't like it. Um, I, I think that it should be regional. Uh, but if you put Alabama in the in the SEC, then you might as well put Oklahoma and Texas in the SEC, right? Um, it is a southeastern conference, and I would like the fact that if it's a that conferences stay with each other and they play against each other, it's easy for child, uh, traveling, easy for marketing, etc., um, easy for rivalries. And I think that we're we're gonna see that kind of decimate now with larger rivalries, but the smaller rivalries that I used to have that are regional, not necessarily make sense. That they don't really make sense anymore. So um, I, I I'm I I like the fact that. The conferences are getting more competitive. It gives the opportunities, but I don't like the fact that it takes the regional aspect out of it. Um, essentially, making you know, uh, essentially making uh, 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 
it, a region based region based conferences. So hey, this is the best in this region. This region they play each other uh, versus like USC and, and and the Pac-12 playing all you know uh, um, Pacific teams and then playing the best in the Midwest or the East. So um, really excited to see what happens with this, especially with the playoff, a Coswell playoff. Um, yeah, uh, 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 big moves, and, but just big moves out of the SEC this week.